Hello and welcome back. We are in No Man's Sky and it is working. I'm not sure how, but it is working. I'm on a planet with two other players and I'm able to see their base. This is a fantastic moment. This is the colony in the... of the Euclid Center neighbors. Our friend Stray Grenade would be very proud at this moment. Although I can't see every single base so far so good on two of these, so all I have to do is make it through these raging storms that don't actually last too long but they're definitely raging storms let's see if I can land this beautiful ship anywhere nearby storms clearing that is always a good thing might have been too close to the base so that's why it may not have been letting me land but here we are you and I are on planet Omega-3 somewhere in the Euclid galaxy. And this is base number one, if I can get there. Owned by Ryder. Ooh. I always have to hit up the terminal exchange, purchase some resources for the building of my base, which is a little bit further away, so I didn't overlap on anything. This is what an amazing base looks like. This player has definitely finished out, completed the quest, opened up many of the salvaged units. Look at how awesome this place is. Laid out very well. Hoping to reach that point someday in my own build. And downstairs there's an amazing farm which I at this moment stop by to v visit the frost crystals or frost wart and gather as many as I can for the base build on the other side of the planet. They do respawn. I'm not sure what the timer is. But so far so good. Thank you very much for having this awesome farm here for me. And for other players I can see the bases. This just goes on for a little bit. Just enough to build a few biodomes and some glass cubes. Let me speed this up. Alright, I got a bunch of those. We're going to leave the rest. I have no space for inventory. Shout out to the subscriber who asked about how to make more space in inventory. <laughs> I'll work on that conundrum. Right now I'm gathering everything. Look at all this cool stuff with the front entrance. Beautiful view. Nice day. There's our next destination location. Right across the lake. Let's take the roof escape out of here. Headed back to the ship. If I can get there on Omega-3, beautiful orange colors, low radiation and toxicity. Heading over to the next base, this one is owned by Bone Hellscream. Let's see if we can get on the landing pad. Ooh, it's going to let me this time. There is a portal nearby and another base nearby, but I cannot see that at the moment. We'll see if anything changes in the future, but so far so good with these. And it will be time for a little more farming. Where is those? That frost wart. And there's another beautiful farm here. Multiplayer is awesome. stuff is meant to be shared among players. I grab every little bit that I can through here and we'll just continue the tour through the base. It is very well colored. Looks like the <coughs> looks like a metallic, but it's worn out. Very well themed. 
And I take as many frostwort here as possible so I can make those biodomes. It's almost kind of cool the way they grow into the ground structure. As if it's getting invaded by some alien sci-fi force. The planet is overtaking the base. I'm going to skip some of this stuff because I don't need it at the moment. feel kind of confused. You guys lost or we're lost in the maze. Make it through here. A little overgrown. Still looks cool though, but we will not be lost. It is methodically and well laid out for a perfect pattern that will lead us out to safety. I think we can make it all the way through. Yes, indeed. Alright. It's working. There's the ship. Let's check out the main little hub with another sales terminal and going forward for a wonderful view glass floor refineries health oh we can't do the health of other players oh Or shields. All right. Well, hopefully that would be awesome if we could do that in multiplayer. And get shield to take a look out the window for a view. Very nice. Looks safe out there. I'm gonna head back. Head back and continue construction on the base I'm working on. Don't have too many of these resources built up yet. It takes a while gathering. That is the delay sure helps having farms that are available thank you very much again to the space travelers of the Euclid Center neighborhood for allowing me to show the bases off and build my own I am not too far away Let's go crashing down with a super duper daredevil descent spinning directly towards the base that is under construction and hopefully will be built soon. It is on a tiny island. Landing is always a precarious situation, but again, nailed it right there. Alright, might look a little awkward, but there's the one tree. Nobody cut it down. It's the only tree on the little island. Must be saved. <coughs> Makes for great decoration. <laughs> Alright, head back in. Pardon the dust, we are still under construction. I'm gonna have several biodomes and this will be a underwater farm. We'll see how it works out. You can hear the sloshing noise walking underneath, but it doesn't use up any of the other resources. Alright, stay tuned for more. We'll catch you in the next video. You guys stay safe out there. Bye-bye.